Welcome to KioWare University, where we show you the ins and outs of using KioWare to its fullest potential. Today, we'll be touching on the basics of KioCloud. KioCloud is a cloud-based management platform that can help you automate your day-to-day -day kiosk maintenance. On the main dashboard, we can determine our kiosk's respective statuses based on the color indicator in the corner of the title. Green indicates good, yellow indicates warning, and red indicates error. We can also determine the kiosk client version and view applied descriptions. To learn more about a kiosk, simply select it. In the kiosk dashboard, you can view some additional information regarding status and client as well as some general usage stats. Perhaps one of the most valuable indicators on the kiosk dashboard is last heartbeat. A heartbeat is from the kiosk to Kio Cloud, letting it know that KioWare is running and able to communicate with the dashboard. Note the client and status indicators. In this case, the client is up to date. If we navigate to my Android kiosk, we can see that the dashboard has indicated that the client is deprecated. Selecting the clock icon next to the current status will reveal the status history, so you can see exactly when a kiosk status changed. A kiosk status can change for a variety of reasons, and users can define those reasons using the triggers and actions functionality. You can see what triggers and actions have been applied to a kiosk right from the kiosk dashboard. Let's edit the default missed heartbeat trigger to see how it works. You can see that this trigger applies to the entire site, not just a subset of kiosks. The action will occur when the defined conditions have been met. In this case, the action will occur when at least one missed heartbeat is detected. By default, the status indicator is updated to an error status in the action. You can change this via the new status dropdown. Recall that the status indicator on the main dashboard and kiosk dashboard will be updated. Green indicates good, yellow indicates warning, and red indicates error. You can add additional actions as well. Perhaps you would like a maintainer to be notified when a status change occurs. To do this, navigate to the Select Action dropdown and select Send Notification followed by the plus sign. You can now edit the method, type, and target recipient to your liking. When you are finished, click Save. Let's edit the counter trigger as well. You can see here that this trigger is meant to detect when a heartbeat has been restored, at which point the applied status reason for the missed heartbeat trigger can be removed automatically. You may want to set up a notification action here as well. Additionally, KioWare Server offers flexible roles and permissions so you can customize access to your team members based on their roles and responsibilities. Let's create a new user to demonstrate. From the dashboard, select Utilities followed by User Management. Finally, select Create User. Enter the email you would like to be associated with the user and select Next. We offer a variety of pre-configured roles that offer varying levels of permissions. If none of these fit your needs and you would rather create a user-specific policy, you can simply select the Create Policy button. The level indicates the subset of the site you would like the policy to apply to. I would like to only give this user permission to view and edit one kiosk. In this case, I will select Kiosk Level. I can now indicate the kiosk I would like to define the user access to and select Confirm. The far left column indicates the permission and the checkboxes indicate the applied level. Since this is a kiosk level policy, only the kiosk checkbox is selectable. The access dropdown has three levels, not set, view or edit, and revoke. Note that revoke will always outweigh view or edit in the event of conflicting policies. This will allow the maintainer to give users granular access to certain features at certain levels on a case-by-case -case basis. If you anticipate using a custom policy often, a custom role can be created such that it can be quickly assigned to new users with no need to reconfigure. We are always looking to improve on KioCloud for our customers. Currently in development is a full integration with our KioWare License Server platform, which will give License Server users the ability to monitor and control client-side license usage right from the KioCloud dashboard. If you have any questions or requests, our support system is always available at support at KioWare.com. Thank you for watching KioWare University, where we show you the ins and outs of using KioWare to its fullest potential.